Hey guys, welcome to L&D Home. Um, I am going to attempt a vlog, so it's probably going to be very basic. We're just going to see how this goes. Um, just to kind of show you some of the random stuff that I do every day around the house. Maybe we'll go outside of the house, um, but yeah, that's what this is. Vlog number one. I do have somewhere that I have to be in less than an hour, so we're just going to tackle some random things around the house. Hopefully somewhat quietly because my husband is still sleeping. So let's let's see what's on the agenda for right now. Right now I'm actually waiting for a video to upload some cleaning motivation. So while that um, does its job, I am going to be doing some straightening. This is the state of our living room right now. It's not too bad, but um, I do really like to straighten the living room first thing um, just because it's kind of like the heart of the home and if it's messy, um, it just looks really bad. So we are going to just get this straightened up a little bit um, so it looks more appealing to my eyes anyway. <laughs> some stuff I need to put away uh, my purse needs to go upstairs and sorry our floors are so squeaky it's ridiculously all through the house <laughs> um, and then I have to take those two items downstairs um, because I got a new mop so I don't need that mop bucket but I do want to keep it just in case so let me show you the mop I finally took the plunge and got the Ocedar map. <laughs> I actually found a $25 gift card in my wallet for Lowe's. Um, I wanted the newer version, but it was significantly more expensive. This is like the older version, so I'm going to try it just to see if I like the general idea of an Ocedar map. Um, but we are going to be unboxing that today. I'm probably going to be filming like a TikTok or an Instagram or something, and then maybe we will um, have time to test that out today. But um, I'm going to leave that right there <laughs> so that I can unbox but I am going to get those items and take those downstairs and then take this random purse upstairs. So, I'm not really sure how, oh my gosh, there's the wall, how people who vlog do this is carrying this stuff into the camera at the same time. It's not easy. <laughs> I don't even think I'm looking at the camera. So terrible already. It's going, it's going off already, but here we are. Um, I'm actually probably going to straighten up down here too. So I just brought this stuff down with me. Um, so I just brought this stuff down with me, but um, I need to, I guess, put that back on the table, but we were down here um, a while ago, like watching movies, like you can see that's disgusting over there. Honestly, honestly, if we're being real, I'm going to leave. I don't even know if you can see it. I'm going to leave all that just like that. I don't care. Um, but I am probably going to like fix the couch and stuff just because I'm like already down here. So, 
Um, we're going to just fix the couch, put the cushion, cushions back, um, leave all of those water spots there, and then put that stuff in the craft room. So let's do it. down here just kind of straightening up um we are hoping that this might change a little bit this summer i don't know if you can really see it but this is kind of like where we watch movies but it's only like a two-seater and we have these bean bags for the kids um and then we have this big table that we sometimes play games on but we don't really do that very often to be honest so i know that my husband has mentioned that um, i'm gonna leave that right there yep right there i'm leaving it um <laughs> in that cover that I'm gonna go throw it in my son's room. That's his. I don't even know why it's there, but I'm literally gonna go chuck it on his bed. He can figure it out later. <laughs> but uh, my husband has mentioned wanting to kind of change this up, like leave the bar, but change up the layout, maybe get rid of the table, make it more of like a theater situation. So I don't know. I don't know if that's gonna happen um, this summer or not. Um, I'm fine with the way it is, but I would like different chairs. Like if we're gonna keep this game, game table. Um, I hate these chairs. They don't fit in. So like it, it barely fits. And then these stick out like an awful lot on the sides. Um, these are actually just chairs that we had that, um, I've had for like a very long time. My mom gave me these when I first moved out on my own and I'm like 36 now. So, um, I just repainted them and um, reupholster them, but hate them. I've always have, um, like, hated them. <laughs> but, yeah. So, if we keep this table, I do want to get some, like, just thinner chairs that can, like, four that can fit, like, underneath and all push in so you're not obstructing the walkway. But anyway, um, maybe look for this to be redone over the summer. Maybe possibly. Um, I don't know. I don't know what we can afford, but he is talking about doing something different with it. So, we will see. Um, so I am done down here. I hate coming down here. I don't know if it's because my son's room is down here. I mean, he's not here today, but I feel like I'm interrupting him. I'm not sure, but I don't know. I'm done down here anyway. I came down here to do what I was supposed to do. And yes, I am still leaving that on the floor. Um, real life. <laughs> How this goes when I'm not doing a cleaning day. So I don't know what his room looks like. We're going to find out real quick. Oh, it's not too bad. Not too bad. This is my son's room. We did a, like a makeover. Hi. We did a makeover video um, on it. And he has changed it around a little bit because he got this for Christmas, this desk. We got him this for Christmas for his gaming stuff. He got this record player for Christmas. Um, and he's got some albums, but he wants to do something different. So I'm hoping that this room will be definitely a summer project um, because he doesn't want to change anything too crazy. Um, but like we changed this cause it was facing the other way. If you remember from that makeover video that I will put in the cards and down below, um, he's wanting it a little bit different. He's 16 now. So he's just, he's wanting something different. He's wanting a change and I don't think he likes the yellow anymore. So, which is fine with me, but that is going right there and we are leaving this room. So I don't know if I just don't like to come down here because I feel like it's like son's room down here, even on days he's not here or if it's this, I, there's just like nothing to do down here. Um, so I would like to keep the game table, but I know that my husband kind of wants to make it just like a, th a movie situation. So I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, but maybe, maybe two projects down here in the summer. We'll see how things go. So let's go get some stuff tackled in the kitchen. I'm just trying not to wake my husband up because he's sleeping. So I'm going to go over to my aunt's house. My mom's going to meet me over there and I'm going to cook breakfast for the three of us. We're going to hang out for a little bit and spend some time together. So I need to get all of that stuff, like the food and stuff that I'm bringing to make, 
and the girdle that I like to bring, all of that stuff um, together so that I can get it packed up so that I can head over there because I'm running out of time. And I just realized how bad that's bothering me now. I'm gonna have to take those down at some point. Before the sun goes down It's what you're doing Making me feel like I'm falling And when you're moving I can hear my calling There's no one else here that I see but you It's what you're doing one of those card clip things because I'm not a vlogger. So um, the top of my head's probably cut off. I have no idea what this uh, clip looks like or if this will make it into the vlog. Um, but here I am watching the road and not you, but talking to you, so hello. Um, luckily my aunt only lives about five minutes away. We are actually almost there. Um, I am about two minutes away. My mom has already left her house. She lives a little bit further away, um, but she left kind of on time. My mom, she, she's late. Um, almost every time, <laughs> almost every time we do something. Um, but she did text me and tell me that she was on the way, um, which is pretty good for her. Um, <laughs> so we'll see what time she ends up popping up, but we are almost there and then I'm going to get in there and start making breakfast. I am starving. I have been up since like seven something and it's now like 927 or 928 or something. So I am so hungry. Um, I get really hungry on the weekends, but not necessarily during the week. I don't know why that is. I don't know if it's because I guess stay up later on the weekends. So I'm hungry. I have no idea, but um, I almost made some grits this morning, but I was like, no, you're going to make breakfast for your aunt and your mom. Eat once, Lene, eat once. So um, I cannot wait. <laughs> to get here and cook breakfast because I am a very, very hungry bear right now. So. So I am back home now. Hi. Hello. <laughs> and I was just vacuuming the living room and I've come to the conclusion that this is absolutely disgusting. Um, so I have emptied this a few times as I was vacuuming, which I need to do again with one hand. Not the easiest thing in the world. Oh, there it goes. So I obviously need to empty all of that disgustingness, but like inside of here, I don't know if you can see, is really, really gross. So I'm going to dump this and I'm going to rinse this out and let this dry overnight and get this thing clean so it works a little bit better. Look at that. That is so, so gross. Um, I don't know if they make replacements for these, but I'm just going to uh, clean it. I mean, it has the little water things on it, so I'm just going to go ahead and Clean that out so, so nasty.
over. It almost happened that one time. <laughs> yeah, but that was that one time. Anyway, watch out for you now on. You freeze up like a deer in headlights. I do not. Yes, you do. I was tired. It was moving day. And she, she should have been paying attention. I mean, she would have ran us both over if it wasn't for me going up and slamming on the hood <laughs> and yelling at her. That's true. Hey guys, so it's the next day. I barely filmed over at my aunt's house. My husband and I hung out all day yesterday. We did go to Walmart and stuff. I literally, I'm terrible at this, but we are here the next day. And I want to unbox this mop. Now, I've been working all day. It is like 6.30. <laughs> And I was just doing some planning on the couch. And I was like, you know what? I really want to mop. I want to bust this thing open. I was going to record like a video for Instagram or TikTok or something. And I thought, you know what? I'm not even going to mess with that. I'm going to unbox it with you guys right now because I just, I need to. I just, I just want to. So we are going to unbox this Ocedra mop. And then we are going to do some mopping because the floors need it. Let's do this. Scissors. The box actually feels decently light. I thought it would feel a little bit more heavy, but it actually does not. If my head's cut off, sorry. <laughs> Clearly, I'm not good at this. Okay. There's literally two pieces. Well, three. So, oh, I guess. So I don't really know how this, are they not? I was kind of expecting there to be like instructions on like how to put the mop on the head or like if this piece right here came out. Um, I have no instructions, but that's okay. It's easy enough to figure out, but the handle is like the heaviest part. This actually isn't that um, heavy, but it is very lopsided because this whole mechanism is on this side but the handle is pretty heavy duty and when I watched the reviews um like when I watched the reviews it's been such a long day guys when I saw the reviews um either on Lowe's or on Target Walmart every place I looked this up to see if when I where I could get the best deal before I realized I had that gift card um people were saying well the handle is too short and then people were replying and they were like well guys that's because you have to pull the handle out I guess it like pulls out a certain amount and it like extends or something so we will figure that out later but here is where we're gonna put all of our water obviously and I just need to figure out how to attach this because I have no idea Ooh, it feels really nice it looks like it's just gonna like snap in there so or it just snaps on you can see that oh yeah it literally just snaps in there easy peasy and then you just take this part and screw it in here hmm, very easy peasy and then I'm guessing this like locks into place I'm not sure how oh there we go just locks into place I'm just trying to see if it does get any longer because people are complaining about the length of it. I mean, it's not touching the floor because I don't want to get it all gross yet, but it definitely extends really long. So we're going to go ahead and get this filled up and get some muffins. So while I am mopping, let me share my thoughts on this O Cedar mop. It's okay. Would I feel like it was worth it if I had paid the full price for it of like $35, $37? No. But considering I had a gift card and I only had to pay $15, totally worth it. 
The mop head is not quite as thick as I thought it was going to be. And you're going to see <laughs> later, you definitely have to make sure you screw the thing on really, really tight because I had a bit of a mishap. I do really love the pumping system. It's super helpful. I love how much water you can either leave in or take out of your mop. But when you go to put the mop in the water, it does kind of like hit this part inside of the actual like mop bucket that it, it makes me feel like I'm just like breaking it or something. So overall, I do like the mop. I'm definitely going to keep using it. I'm definitely going to get some different heads for it so I can clean walls and cabinets. But I just don't know. You're going to see right here. <laughs> I just don't know if I personally would want to spend like $35, $40 on this mop, but if you have a gift card or you're going to ask for it as a gift, I definitely think it's worth it. Maybe I just need to play with it a little bit more. If you have the Ocedar mop, let me know down in the comments below. Do you like it? On a one to five stars, what would you rate it? Leave your comments down below so I can hear from all of you guys because I'm very curious what everyone thinks about this Ocedar mop if you guys own one. Feel like dancing. Are you feeling it too? Oh, baby. So, the most interesting part of this is going to be storing it <laughs> because this is like my little cleaning station. And as you can see, there's not much room on the floor. So um, I have to figure out where to store it because, sorry, the lighting is terrible. I have like this hand steam cleaner here. So I guess I'm going to have to detach this and just leave this like detached all the time in the corner, maybe like that. But I don't know if I can get it in there. Um, I have to move this bag, which actually I think used to be hanging up here. Um, I'm going to hang it right there for now. I don't like it here because it gets in the way when I try to take the other things down, but um, it's just the broom and the extender for the shower. So I guess it's fine and hopefully it'll fit right there. So let's see. I'm going to put it in with the pedal. Oh, actually that's a pretty decent fit. Oh, there we go. I put it in with the pedal facing out just so like the pedal doesn't bang up against anything. But I mean, it's bulkier than just like a bucket, but it's not like too terrible. Um, and then I can just store the other mop. Let me go get it. So I can just stick that right in there and just have it like lean, which is a little bit messy, but it's fine. Um, it's not like this wasn't messy to begin with. So I will update you on the mop head. I am going to wash it. Um, I didn't do like an extreme mop or anything just because I was trying to test it out quickly, but I am going to wash it and I will let you know how that holds up. We're actually going to walk this down to the laundry room now because I have some laundry that I have to put in, but I don't have room for this yet. So this will probably have to wait till later on this evening or tomorrow um, to be cleaned. So let's go ahead and head to the laundry room. Like dancing, are you feeling the groove? 